So we're at the view for the court facility. Yes. Exactly, that's more than everything. That's true. really appreciate it. Then to the same thing. Then just on the back. Oh! Jeff took a picture of me and it came out blurry. We're talking about the color time of boy's birthdays. Where is it? We gotta wish him a happy birthday. Hey, you got it. The 13th was his birthday. I'm gonna turn the clock to the last one. What's the name? Okay, it's the 14th. Oh, we just inspired this one. Look at this, all these bundles of rices are distributed to families that are obviously in need of it. Um, they have told me that there was a family of a 36 year old who has 10 children and with six different men. So, you know, having the issue of bus fare and coming here to pick up food, they actually, you know, deliver all these food and, and all these distributions to these families. So, it's a crazy thing. And of course, Ben was here. And he instantly ran up and took a picture on top of these piles of pound piles of rice. So um, definitely good idea. Really good. So we're just leaving the facility, and now we're on to the property of where. Ben had actually built the house in 2009. It's gonna be an amazing experience. Already has been so thus far, so let's continue this journey. He has 11 stars in his house in Boca. And we're gonna put a star on each of the houses that we built. Okay. But we wanna talk to the owners because if they don't want the star, we don't, we don't want, want 
we don't want to force it. Yeah. He made yeah. these stars. Well, he painted. He, he painted. painted. He painted them. And every time he moved from one apartment to the next, see, it was red before. Four. I think it was red before. Then he painted it over. Over. So I mean, he, started. he and, and yeah. So whatever color the house was, but he had his hands arranged really cool. Yeah, with different he had sizes. big ones, Three. little ones one. all over. So, so I think know. that's a really good idea that they're gonna obviously. Yeah, yeah that'd be nice. all the stars that he has built and his foundation the shining star so we're planning on you know hopefully putting it on the house or close by the house and memory of Ben Hi, hello. Hello. what's your name oh you're shy don't be shy <laughs> so cute awesome maybe when we come back around they'll be yeah. there We've actually raised enough money for three houses and this is one of the three so thus far for the Shining Star Foundation we're free for the poor. Let's work. Level sell out. Kingston. Hi, we just got here. They're well into the construction of the house that uh, we're building in Ben's memory. Uh, it's in a very rural area, uh, very difficult to get to. But as you can see, they're making big progress and we're going to help today and dedicate the house to a family. And uh, we'll keep the video rolling and uh, keep you abreast of what's going on. Sweating, but working. Working hard. We have Sandy working hard too, right Sandy? Yeah. <laughs> She's getting down and dirty, see that? This is a real mad job. That's good. <laughs> Wait, he's like, yeah, I know. Lady that was abused by her husband. Yeah, abused. And now she has a home. Now she has Before a home. Four of her children. That's me so clearly with a cool. Yep. With beds and running water and toilet. Running water, toilet. That's gonna be the bathroom. Two bedroom. Yep. And this incredible view. Who can ask for more? In Jamaica. So Santa, tell us a little bit about the foundation. Well, when Ben was um, six weeks old, he was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. It's a disease of the respiratory system.
enough to live a very, very normal life. Nothing stopped him. He traveled the world, he helped people, he came to Jamaica, he built a house with food for the poor. So the last six months before he died, life was pretty rough. But his friends flew up and Suzette was there along with a whole slew of them. And um, over the years, my husband and I, Jeff, and my daughter, Rebecca, has raised over a million dollars for the CF Foundation. Cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis. Yeah. They're coming really close to a cure. We're going to continue to give money to cystic fibrosis. But we decided that Ben would want us to give a good, more than half of that money yes. to Foods for the Poor and to Kingston. One of his dreams was to come to, he visited Jamaica over 25 times. Mind you, he was? 24. He was 24 and he visited 25 yeah, times. 25 times. Part of it because his dad's in the travel business and you know we saw the other side of Jamaica. And then when the opportunity in school came to come work with Food for the Poor, instead of going on a cruise or anything fancy like that, he decided to come. And he was very, very moved by the people of Jamaica. He called me every night when the kids were out at the pool. And he cried. He never saw poverty like this. And he really wanted to help and do more and do more and do more. Alright, so we have Nicole here. And she's going to be the recipient to the house that's being built on behalf of the Shining Star. So Nicole, that's what I was asking you. Um, you know, how did you, what's the situation as to why you need a home right now? My husband and I, we were living together and we got a, a little girl pregnant and it was causing a lot of problems. Problems, we used to fight because, you know, we used to have enough fear coming in in the morning. So we start get abusive, start eating me, locking me out of the house, throwing me and the children. Oh my God. And how many kids do you have? Four. Four, four children. kids. Four children. Three girls and one boy. Three boys and one girl. So because of obviously this the abusive situation, um, it has led her to, now she's staying with a family relative. I'm staying, staying with my mom. Are your mom? Uh, but sometimes because of, of, after being old arbor, I work in old arbor some yeah. of the time. So after being old arbor, so I was still by one of my friends. Yeah, yeah. So um, they have that food for the boys provided her with the two two bedroom two house obviously with a loft on top too to so become a three bedroom as is no, that's a thank you thank of you very course. much because you have taken me out of a situation because i didn't have anywhere we used to sleep sleep at my brother sleep at a yeah. cousin home to the home person would say because they are children i would let them stay by my mom yeah because it, at the end of the day can't manage and she have one room yeah. one single room and there's have. four of you guys so, so on top of that yeah. So I, I just let them stay. I would let the children stay. Yeah. And I would like to sleep at her brother, sleep at her friend. Yeah. Yeah. See, how old are you? T 37 years 37. Old. Oh, you look great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, on behalf of Ben, Tommy, and, you know, his foundation, we've been able to, you know, raise money from the Shine Star and provide for Nicole's home. I take Bikram yoga, which is the type of yoga that they heat the room up to 115 degrees. 
I do it twice a week for 90 minutes. So I'm not even a break in a sweat. It's relaxing, it's enjoying, it's joyful. Within the last three hours, we built the house. Not at three, maybe four or five. Built the house, painted it, ready to move in. Ready to go. people my daughter Rebecca and her slash friend boss Trisha who helped us raise a lot of money and are going to continue to help us raise money the food for the poor so people don't have to live the way they're living in Kingston thank you house number one the shining star is now complete as you can see it took about eight hours to complete it in one day and it's all completed it was from scratch painted everything painted all up but we made it happen in honor of Ben so check it out house one shining star remember to donate at foodforthepoor.com slash Ben B-E-N donate let's help and help continue this grow for Ben Tolman